Hey, chat, I'm about to tell y'all something y'all might not want to know, but um, the food that you eat is grown with human poop fertilizer, bro. I built two city skylines, two's largest city, then I destroy it. Yo, Martin, you just be having ideas, but I love that you get them done, though, all right? Let's see what this is about. Hello, sir. Hey! Hello again. <laughs> Welcome to Poopville. Poopville. A few weeks ago, the wonderful people over at Paradox Interactive gave me access to an early build of City Skylines 2. Oh, City Skyline is the and game. Then, okay. They put me on a crane. We'll talk about that later. In City Skylines 2, you build cities, construct. Bro, I guarantee you, City Skyline. Freaking Factorio, uh, The Sims, all of these games, they take the data from that game and they apply it to real life, bro. I promise you. It's got to be the truth. They got too many, you know, to Roller Coaster Tycoon, Six Flags, y'all should have kept funding the game. Y'all probably would have had some better, you know what I'm saying? Townships, move people around with mass transit networks and try your absolute... Like, look, they literally built a highway. If you got a video game... Full of people building highways. Why would you hire an architect to figure it out? You could literally take all the data out the game and be like, this highway probably will work the best. Artist to not murder hundreds of thousands of people with a tsunami of poo. Since this is an early pre-release of the game, only a select few people can actually play it, which gave me a devilish idea. Without too much effort, I can probably make because the largest city oh, no, the game crazy. has ever seen. And then I can commit unspeakable atrocities upon my glorious creation. <laughs> so, let us begin. Wanting to start things off properly, I began the game with tutorials. Move with these keys, tilt the camera with these keys, build roads <laughs> like this, mmm, zoning. And before I knew it, I had built the beginning of a small town, okay. burgeoning with life, ready to take on the future, inhabited by the brightest of a new- Yo, chat, here's the, here's the real tea. How you know you not inside of this video game right now? The Matrix confirmed, man. Generation, a town of bustling opportunities, limitless growth. Hey, yo, pause. Yep, that's uh, uh, what yeah. is it? What's that? that no, Martin, what is it? I'm looking at the base. I'm looking at the the shaft. Martin, what is that? Unlike the first game, <laughs> I had no limit on the amount of terraforming I could do, which meant I could do things like this. Did he just buff up the... For the city's road Pause. network, I had conceived an incredible solution to traffic. Triangles. This amazing technology makes every single intersection in the city six ways. Hey. You might think this is very stupid, and it is, but what's even Could stupider... You once you put roundabouts, though, is this type of intersection actually exists in real life. And where else would it exist than beautiful, sunny Los Angeles? Oh, wow. The real intersection is even worse than these ones, though, because it doesn't have any traffic lights. Just six stop signs. What the fuck? They, they should put a roundabout. With traffic 100% solved forever, I could move on to more important things, like schools, police stations, water infrastructure, fire stations, and most importantly, somewhere I might have to, get to put this. all the poop. How about, uh... In the water. Here. Once the poo had been successfully routed into the poo cano, it was only a matter of time until it filled. Well, a matter of very long time. I spent about another hour on the city, and by then it had filled to about... Here. Not very high. And that meant... It was... Got time. <clears throat> time to drink. Placing a water pump inside the poo cano resulted in fresh poo being delivered directly to people's taps which caused the entire city to either pack up and leave, or die. Well... Hey chat, I'm about to tell y'all something y'all might not want to know, but um... The food that you eat is grown with human poop fertilizer, bro. They tell you, cow manure, cow manure! Poopville was no more. Ask your local councilman, alright? <laughs> See if he tells you. 
And with that, we move on to attempt two. Gentlemen, welcome to Peniston. This city went a little better than Poopville. A little. This time, I spent a bit longer learning the basic principles of the game, and examined things that had been changed from City Skylines 1. Mm. Things like much larger, really nice looking service buildings. Like this coal plant. Ooh. Or this landfill. Mmm. I checked out the new zoning. Pedestrian only streets. The grid tool. And of course, radio announcements telling you what's going on in the city. The commercial district is booming. More radio announcements. Okay. So a housing shortage is bad for the people trying to move here, right? And my personal favorite. There's a widespread concern over fears that an insidious underground criminal organization has seized control of the area. Recent right, crime right, stats fuck, fuck, confirm fuck, fuck. that the crime wave has certainly <laughs> gripped our region. And it's showing no signs of letting up. I don't like the sound of that, Glenda. We'll be back after this. Yo, Barbie was a good oh, movie. Oh, 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 all of this was great. So, I, uh, <laughs> flattened a bit of land and got to work on the next area. I did a bit of bus stuff, zoned a bunch of housing, built these terrible, awful roads connecting everything, and then people started drinking poo again. <laughs> Fucking goddamn shit. Attempt three. Before attempt three began, I had a few things to do. Namely, fly all the way to Germany, hang out for a few days, and then get hoisted 50 meters into the air. Boy, ain't no way I'm doing that. Now that we're in position, it was time to You're begin the game our up fabulous there? new city. When naming this new city, I tried to think of a name that inspired greatness. A name that made me think. More mm. to Gentlemen, behold, the grand city of This time, I wasn't gonna keep messing around. This time, I would research the ins and outs of city building, and I would construct a wonderful, perfect, flawless utopian city. So I'm first saying things attempt first, eight is the, is I did the some one. research. <laughs> and with that research completed, here are my findings. So, we want to build the largest possible city. A city that has an extremely high population, all buying products, driving their car, and most importantly, pooping out their butt. Well, to get to that point, our new city of Um couldn't just be a huge grid with nothing but apartment buildings. Believe me, I tried. No one moved in. This city needed to be attractive. People had to actually want to that move in. That building in the middle is fire, though. substantially complicated. Well, like Oscorp or so, why would a citizen want to move here? Well, maybe they've got a good job, or the amenities are nice, the shops sell cool stuff, the city services are reliable, it's safe, there are dudes that be selling that good Zaza, plenty of crack, a nice, pleasant location to gamble away my kids' college fund, hookers on every street corner. The reasons one might want to live in a city are truly endless, so we have to try to accommodate as many as possible. First and foremost, they need somewhere to live. So let's build some roads, zone them for low-density residential, and wait. Okay. Hooray! Our first citizen, the Pooh Man. If I wanted the Pooh Man to actually stay in this city, I needed to build a few service buildings. A groundwater pump for pumping groundwater, a windmill for milling wind, an industrial sector for people to work at, and then I had to decide on a place to put the poo. Hmm. Nah, that's crazy. Yeah, I'll put it here. Once that was all done, I zoned a few more Into things the and then just sort of sat back and watched my creation do its magic. I even found a dog. Bar. <laughs> and there we go. Our first milestone. Ooh. Tiny village, this milestone okay. unlocked a few new service buildings. I placed down a medical clinic, oh. a cemetery, an elementary school, a landfill. <laughs> the city of Mmm was definitely making me go Mmm. With the city now growing quite quickly, came even more unlocks. Roundabouts, fire stations, police stations. Oh, you gotta unlock roundabout? Okay, that makes sense. This game might be one of them. Higher density housing, specialized industry. And before I knew it, mm, had reached 1,000 population. And. Nighttime. Nighttime in this game looks quite nice. Now, the build I was playing on was quite an early one, which meant it came with a few oh. bugs here and there. My favorite of which being gas stations with, uh, rather powerful lights. So. What next? Well, now the city had reached a thousand population, I had to do something truly awful. I had to start thinking. You see, in the first game, all big cities had one common struggle. Traffic. If I wanted the city to be truly huge, I had to get on top of traffic before it became an issue. So of course, 
I did some more research. <laughs> Holy shit. Roads. You seen that reference he just used, chat? What movie is that from? Roads on the surface may seem simple enough. Get them wrong, and disaster will follow. So, how do you not get them wrong? Well, by following a few basic principles of road networks. First being, roadway hierarchy. You probably already have a vague idea hold up, hold up, hold up. principles of road networks. First being, roadway... Okay. Freeway, architectural, uh, collector, distributor, local, through traffic, movement, and speed, access to property. Okay. A hierarchy. You probably already have a vague idea of what this means. <laughs> Obviously, a highway has a pretty different purpose than the road that goes to your house. True. The hierarchy goes like this. Highways, then arterial roads, then collectors, and then local roads. They don't necessarily need different numbers of lanes or higher speed or really anything distinguishing them. The distinction is more about where they are in the network than what they actually look like. Each step down the hierarchy trades off mobility or how fast you can get from point A to B with access or how many things you can put on that road. Local roads have the highest access but lowest mobility, while highways have the highest mobility with the lowest access. access. Speaking of highways, uh, hey, there's a highway right there. So, back to the city of... We can see that these basic road principles have already been used. This road here is an arterial road. We've got some collectory looking dudes off to the side here, and all our houses are placed nicely oh, along not ready? Roads. Welcome back. Next up, another neighborhood. An arterial road up here, and... Wonderful. As our city grew larger, we unlocked even more stuff. This stuff is quite important, since we need to keep our citizens happy so more move in. In order to keep our citizens happy, I had devised a devious plan. Fuck that. <laughs> With the city sufficiently, uh, Suck that boy up. in parks, I could add more stuff. <laughs> Ashley, industrial what's area good? Here, some mixed-use developments over here, a college here, an experimental pedestrian Was that the college from Bully? over here, and before I knew it, 5,000 population. W -man, At this w -man. point in the game, issues start cropping up, like our cash flow is still negative, or there's a little bit of traffic, or there's a giant forest fire bearing down on the city. Yeah, a I'm sure that's fire. fine. We're going to take the noble path and completely ignore it. You see... In City Skylines, road design and layout will only get you so far in fighting traffic. The best way to stop jams is for there to be no cars there in the first place. Gentlemen, it was time to busy ourselves with public transit. Hey. Mm. I never had a bad experience. On small scale, on we only really transit, have the capacity. If you have had a bad experience on pl public transit, let me know what it was, bro. Capacity to add. The the worst thing I had to deal with was people, and this is this is a pet peeve. People who play their music like other people not around, bruh. Like, what if I just wanted to be peaceful and relaxing right now? Now I got to hear Nuck if you buck in my... Nuck if you buck... I don't want to hear that, bruh. Please, turn it off. Add buses. So we'll add some buses. I remember first playing City Skylines 1 and spamming the shit out of buses absolutely everywhere. Doing this resulted in bus lines that look something like this. Now yes, this line does in fact service a lot of people, but if you live here and want to go here, instead of the bus going straight there, it goes here, then around here, and then stops here, and finally arrives here. Oh, yeah. This system is dumb. Terrible. It's far better to have a bus that just goes from one point to another in the city, and then stops in between. With that said, here's my first bus route. It takes people from the apartments to the industrial area and back. Simple. Now, of course, the whole point of doing this is to allow people to get around without using their car. The vast majority of people, when given the choice between a bus and a car, all else equal, will almost always choose a car. For sure. This is great if you want your city to look like this, but I don't. <laughs> so we need to make the bus a viable alternative. We can do this with bus lanes to prioritize bus traffic, or by not providing parking near the destination so they can't drive there. What's more... That cut through bus lane? Hey, yo, fire. But you know somebody's gonna use it though. Somebody is gonna be in a car rushing home to catch their wife cheating, and they gonna use that bus lane, and everybody else gonna be like, "Oh, they used it." Unless they put them little things in it, you know what I'm saying? That be catching people's license plate when you be speeding through school zones. Hey, Amen. Important, however, is that the public transit system has layers to it. Public transit isn't just buses. It's also trams, metro, ferries, trains, and even aircraft. All these systems should mesh together to provide a viable alternative to just getting in your car and driving to your destination. The end result? Well, Zahid was good. Not this. Ah! 
With the beginnings of a public transit network laid out, came rezoning. I would hate to be if I wanted the city to be the largest the game had ever seen, these single-family homes were no good. In their place, I zoned for mixed use, which are just apartment blocks with shops on the bottom. Instead of housing four or five people, mixed use developments can house 60 to 80. Of course, I couldn't rezone everything at once, so I just did it gradually. Bulldozing grandma's house, only every so often. That's tough. <laughs> With more population, once again, my pet peeve more. is when I see men not offering up their seats to pregnant women. Hey, true, true. You know what I'm saying? Unlock. I'll give up my seat to a pregnant woman. I just stand up most of the time on public transit, unless you know what I'm saying it's empty. Okay. This time we'd unlocked the office space. Why work in a dangerous, hazardous manufacturing job when you can just sit on a computer and slap a keyboard for eight hours a day? Wait a minute. Officers have a few <laughs> advantages over industry. The important one being, they don't produce pollution. This means that we can place them wherever we want. They also employ a higher proportion of educated workers. True. This is good when your city has a high level of education. Mine doesn't, but it's nice to think that maybe someday, <laughs> it will. In the meantime though, the citizens needed to be put back to work. Ah oh, shit. In particular, we needed more industry. Perhaps like this chemical plant building thing, which looks really cool. And what a drink, what a funny liquid it produces. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now, this might be the best animation on you. <laughs> Yo, my man snorted some, some booger sugar and whip some people back into work in less than a minute and a half. Can't make this up. I can't make it up. In that time I spent doing uh, whatever it was that I was doing, the city had managed to pass the 15,000 population milestone. W -mans? Nice. Are oh, they oh, gaining yeah. 284 was, uh, people an hour? Still on the crane. Guys, it's been a long time. Guys, can you please let me down, please, guys? Everything in mm was going perfectly. The commercial district was. The commercial district is booming as the air industry <laughs> was on industry the rise. Industry in the region is on the rise, mm. and when a housing shortage was driving up prices a in the area. Housing shortage is driving up prices in the area. Oh my God! Yes, That's I get it. Do these radio announcers ever <laughs> shut the fuck up? No, Martin. We don't shut up. <laughs> What? Super Mario behavior? Martin, hey, facts. Time is running out. The citizens demanded Martin. The citizens want poo. Martin, what? the Pucano is calling. No, no, no. Why are you saying this? The no, this isn't right. Stop, is please. Calling. Stop. Martin. Stop, please. Bill please, stop. Go away. No, what are you talking about? I like this. No, please. What are you talking about? No, I don't want to fight with poo. No. No. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Uh. Well, uh. I hit this new milestone. Large city? Build this bridge thing. Okay. Yeah. Mark. Okay, well, uh, maybe we should try a port. You know, because it's got like Water. the funny. Yep. You know, the funny, you know, the, the funny, the funny water vehicle, you know, you know, the funny. Uh. So I made a port. Now the city has shipping access. Hooray! Okay, how about a train yard and some trains? Alrighty, bam! Trains. A stop over here, a stop over here, some tunnels connecting them all, this cool train bridge thing. Nice. How about a metro? Metro stations, tunnels, metro lines. The attractiveness of mm was truly off the charts. And in the next couple of hours of playing, the population ballooned from 15,000 to 50,000 people. Dang. This, once again, unlocked a swath of new high density buildings. So to cram even more people into my more and more limited space, I zoned a bunch of high rises. Mm was well on its way to city glory. But this huge influx uh, did in fact cause a few issues. Namely, traffic. With so many people moving in all at once, car traffic coming into the city was truly huge. So to combat this, I came up with a genius idea. A wonderful, pleasant, beautiful urban highway. 
Currently, there's only one access point into the city, but with our wonderful new urban highway and this cool bridge, there was now two. Okay, highways are cool and all that, but what's the best way to merge a highway with another road? Gentlemen, it's time to dive into the wonderful world of <laughs> interchanges. So, you're an urban planner, and you've got a problem. You've got this big road going this way, and another big road going this way. Okay. How do you join them together? Well, with an interchange. There are several to choose from, and they all serve slightly different purposes. Trumpet interchange. Three-way directional interchange. The trumpet. Several to choose from, and they all serve slightly different purposes. Trumpet Okay, I see, I see. Interchange. Three-way directional interchange. Single point urban interchange. Cloverleaf. Partial cloverleaf. Diverging diamond. And everyone's favorite concrete abomination, the stack interchange. Facts. Some of these interchanges. Spaghetti Junction. Atlanta, you know what I'm saying? Get it under control because I joined be having too many vehicles on it between the hours of 4 o'clock and 6.30, okay? You get stuck up there on that bridge, you're going to think you're going to fall Changes off. are meant for moving traffic from one highway to another, like the stack interchange while others are made for taking traffic off the highway and putting it onto a more accessible road. This is what we want for our new highway. So for this job, I chose the diamond interchange. Well, a pretty basic and honestly shit version of one, but a diamond interchange nonetheless. I repeated this basic shit design down the length of our wonderful stretch of road and ended up with this. Once that was done, it was time to build a cool bridge all the way back to the mainland and connect it up to the highway down there. This mm. requires another interchange. Hooray! For this job, we're using a three-way directional interchange. As the title says, it's three ways, directional, and an interchange. Yeah. Anyway, with that place down, this wonderful new section of highway is open for business. And you know what that means? More expansion. More expansion, of course, meaning huge influxes of new people. In just a few hours, the city managed to go from 50,000 population all the way up to 90,000. Ooh, that boy Huge swaths of new people making their way into the city via our new highway proved very quickly that the interchanges I had designed were in fact very bad, and I should feel bad about them. <laughs> fucking idiot, fucking stupid dumbass. Not to worry though, because one of my intercity trains I had the foresight of building was doing some serious heavy lifting. A couple of them were even full, holding 800 passengers each. All 800 of which got off at one station, causing this wonderful cascade of bodies to come flooding out, filling the streets like some sort of gelatinous liquid. <laughs> Beautiful. And with that, more expansion. I built more neighborhoods, and more neighborhoods, and more and more thousands of people flocked to me. Tram lines, highways, thousands of spaces for new buildings. It was only a matter of time before the population skyrocketed yet again. Yeah, except it, uh, didn't. For whatever reason, people had decided enough was enough, and they didn't want to move in anymore. What's worse is, for the life of me, I couldn't figure out why. Mm. Mousing over the citizen happiness meter revealed that citizens in my city were having a wonderful time. Lots of wealth, they reliable get their city mail, services, though? and no poo in the drinking water. Yet. This city was just... their keyboard slapping and need manufacturing jobs. So I gave them what they wanted, and holy shit! A nice <laughs> influx of tens of thousands of people. I passed over a hundred thousand, then over a hundred and fifty. People were literally dying to get to my city. And, predictably, the traffic was really bad. Of course. I expanded so much that I'd filled up the barrier island. I expanded down to the mainland, filling oh, it with- Oh, now we making Brooklyn. We made Manhattan, shifting over to Brooklyn, the Bronx, has not been created. A huge, expansive suburbia. I built over a hundred elementary schools. The population grew still. I built these cool university buildings. The Large Hadron Collider. This needle-looking thing. And the population grew still. International airport. More suburbia. Okay. Nuclear energy. More industry. Trams. Trains. More suburbia. Highways. Skyscrapers. Incineration plants. More suburbia. Infrastructure of all shapes and sizes. The city grew. And grew. And grew. And now it's time to put poop in the And here water. we are, fellas. 300,000 citizens. I'm pretty confident this is the largest city ever built in City Skylines 2. Now, let me ask you a question. Okay. What are 300,000 people good at? Pooping. Maybe making a lot of money or Pooping. using lots of incineration plants or 
perhaps producing lots of digital goods. Yes, they are good at all of those things, but they're most good at one thing pooping. in particular. They are good at pooping. Come on, man. Come on. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Gentlemen. So I you see how that came out like mad watery TMI, but came back from Mexico. Look just like that, boy. I ain't gonna count. Present to you the purpose <laughs> of this city. What everything has been leading up to. I present the Pucano. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. Falling from poop avalanches. Crazy work, bro. Crazy work. In the ensuing Poon army, the entirety of M mm was destroyed. Only one single person remained. Me. The Poo Man. If you'd like to beat my record and claim even more lives, pre-order this fantastic game with my link. Goodbye. I'm not gonna lie. City Skyline sounds like a game we gotta play all night. When we get bored, build a city. We gotta put like a, a sports team in there. We definitely gotta put some casinos, okay? We're going crazy. Make sure the legislation is legislated team. You know what I'm saying? Yo, hey, I ain't gonna lie. Martin put me on the game. We, we gonna download these. 